What is going on guys? This is your host Roll Sykes and welcome to today's Call of Duty AW video. In today's AW video, I wanted to talk to you absolutely sexy people about the new and upcoming Call of Duty. It's like every single day we're getting more and more hints, we're getting new info with regards to the new Call of Duty. But that's it guys, before we go any further, in today's AW video, if you guys are coming from the YouTube search list and you haven't, make sure to support the video by smacking that literal like button, and while you guys are at it, why not even subscribe? But that's it guys, without further ado, let's dive into today's AW video. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So, yesterday I made a video with regards to something called the Dice Summit. If you guys would like to know more about that, click the little video on the left side. From there, you guys can go watch that. Either way, we got to see the development process behind Treyarch with regards to how they actually operate and develop video games. So, anyway, you know, throughout that, David Vonderhaar actually tweeted saying over 34 hints about our next move have probably been provided. Did you find them yet? I'm waiting. So again, the Dice Summit was a live stream via Twitch, and in that live stream, they revealed 34 hints with regards to the newest Call of Duty. Now, they officially didn't say anything about it, but they are hinting at it. Now, I didn't get a whole lot of time to really go through and siphon everything out. However, I did want to give a huge shout out to a good friend of mine, Electric Shock. If you guys don't mind, before we go any further, go support his channel and let him know that the Sykes Army does exist. Go through every one of his videos and just spam. So either way, I wanted to show you guys some pictures. The first one being the development process behind every single Call of Duty. You guys can see right there from 2005 to 2013. We have, you know, Call of Duty 3, we have Call of Duty 4, we have Call of Duty World at War, we have MW2, Black Ops 1, MW3, BO2, and Ghost. However, if you guys do look in between MW2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, you guys will see Call of Duty World at War with a circle and a number 2 over it. Now, again, I made a video about this a few weeks ago. Somebody that works at Microsoft tweeted the same picture about World at War 2. The next Call of Duty is going to be World at War 2. Now, I want to show you guys another picture, which you guys can see here. Now, this appears to be a loading screen, perhaps for a zombie map. Uh, as you guys can see right there, you guys have a little character that is standing. You guys can see the little shadow on there. And if you guys have ever played zombies, you guys know that the loading screens are always just like that. And if you guys do look close enough, it does look like there are some zombies written on that little piece of paper towards the left. But below that, there's a little question mark. The main thing I wanted to point out, though, is that weapon. That weapon looks exactly like a FAMAS from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Guys, I mean, these are just consistent hints back to back over these last few weeks and even months, uh, you know, hinting at Call of Duty World at War 2. I mean, they can truly optimize the performance of the next generation consoles to create an absolutely stellar World at War 2 game. World at War for me was like the first Call of Duty I'd ever played. I remember playing a long time ago when I was just now, you know, introduced to Xbox Live. It was just so many amazing memories and I'd really like to see a World at War 2. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below via the comments. Again, how would you feel about World at War 2 and the new addition of zombies? Would you guys like to see zombies? I'm a huge zombies fanatic. I always enjoy trying to beat my friends and go over the highest round ever. Anyway, guys, if you did go on to enjoy today's video, please support it by smacking that little old like button and again, punch that red button or wipe your butt on it. Anyway, guys, it's been your host, Real Sykes, and I will talk to you sexy people later. Later.